Hello everyone, welcome to PC Instruments. My name is Lukas Ludwig and today I would like to familiarize you with our magnet stirrer. A magnet stirrer has the tax to mix media with each other, as the name says. This is done with the help of a magnet. For this, a small magnet is laid into the media. The so-called stirring fish. The stirring fish, in our format as a rod, gives in different sizes and different lengths. You can have them in the shape of a cross, tablet shape, egg shape, to number a few. This magnet is covered in, for example, with PTFI, ceramic or glass to reduce the friction here on the base. Just as well to protect these rods for chemical reactions. To move these stirring fish, we also need an opposite magnet. As you can clearly see, the stirring fish always follows the opposite magnet. Through the movement of the opposite magnet, the stirring fish moves and so mixes them in my media. We have here two technologies represented. For one, the motor driven magnet stirrer, and here, the induction driven magnet stirrer. By the motor driven magnet stirrer, it is a motor with a, which a duration magnet sets in motion and then pulls the stirring fish along. By the induction driven magnet stirrer, we have no movable parts. We have induction surfaces which are switched after another and the stirring fish follows these. To recognize these two technologies is by the construction height. By the induction driven magnet stirrer it is nicely flat. By the motor driven we have a clear construction height. From the strength of the opposite magnet depends now on how much respectively which fluid which viscosity I can stir. To have an example between a different magnet stirrer, the stirring volume of the single magnet stirrer is stated. This stirring volume is always from water, so that you have a consistent viscosity. Here we have, for example, the PC MSR 300, which has a stirring volume of up to 2 litres. Compared to this, here is the MSR 350, which has a stirring volume of 10 litres. We know now that this stirrer clearly stronger is, so that it can move more volume or media with a higher viscosity. You can also see that the size of a magnet stirrer says nothing about its strength. We have here volume of 4 milliliter up to here for example up to 20 liter. The stirring speed as well as the setting possibilities of the magnet stirring direction can be individually by different magnet stirrers be set. We can, for example, from 5 to 2200 revolutions per minute, move the stirring rod. A further function is the possibility of the to be mixed media with the help of the magnet stirrer to heat up. Here on both magnet stirrers, good to see, there's also a heating plate built in. Because there are media which their characteristics by heating up change, is that a very good combination? The magnet stirrer with the heating plate differentiate by the setting of the heating temperature as well as the heating power. In our case we have for one the PC MSR 300 with a heating power of 300 Watt and the setting possibility of up to 300 degrees Celsius. 
Opposite we have the MSR 350 with a heating power of 600 Watt and a maximal setting of 320 degrees Celsius. Means then that both magnet stirrer can reach a nearly the same temperature. The difference is though that the one with the 600 Watt power reaches the temperature more quickly. What we have here is the magnet stirrer with one stirring surface respectively with four stirring surfaces so that I can do several processes at the same time. Also an interesting possibility. Other differences by the magnet stirrers lay in the materials. Ceramic covering, stainless steel or plastic must or should be matched to the media to be stirred so that the device, the user or the media don't get damaged. Further information to the theme magnet stirrer you can find on our homepage at www.pc-instruments.com